before I, I, you know, I was pressing with just about the same amount of force right now, and uh, Strong. Wow. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on rcwithadam.com. My name is Adam and today we're going to be talking about this magical stuff called packing tape and how you can use it to make your RC airplane stronger. Isn't it great? And I'll be demonstrating some very cool stuff about packing tape. Let's get started. If you are already in the RC hobby and you've been building your own airplanes for a while now, you probably know all about packing tape and its magical properties. But in case you don't, and if you just like seeing demonstrations about fun RC stuff, this video is for you. First, let's talk about what we put on packing tape or we put what we put packing tape on, which is typically something like this foam board, like this uh, foam board that you can get from the Dollar Tree. It's about a quarter inch thick and it has paper on both sides. And so it's already stronger because it has the paper on both sides, but you can still bend it, uh, but it is quite strong. So it won't just snap outright, but it can be torn, okay? So uh, one way, and the other thing is the paper gets wet also, so, and that can be bad as well. So one thing that you can do to make it stronger is put some packing tape on there and I mean, that's basically all that this video is. It's just, if you put packing tape on foam and it makes it really strong, but it's just really cool how much stronger it makes it. It's, it's very incredible. Um, like for, for the weight, it's, it's incredibly strong. This might be loud. So let's put a piece of packing tape on here. Just, it doesn't even really matter. Let's just go ahead and just kind of slap it on this thing. So you can see that if I crease it, well, first of all, it's much more stiff. Okay, and it's much more stiff. And if I try to rip it, the, it will start to tear, but the actual, the actual foam won't, uh, it, it won't go very far because the tape is holding it together. Let me cut this piece so that it's even easier for you to see how this is working. So when you have the tape, the thing about the tape is the side that has the tape is easier to fold itself in as opposed to the side that does not have the tape because this tape wants to, I mean, you can still fold it, but it, it doesn't want to stretch. This tape is not stretchy, it will not stretch. So if you take this piece, well, actually let's get a new piece. Let's say you take a new piece, this one's still kind of beat up, but it's not too bad. And let's say we put a piece of, put a piece of packing tape on here, edge, and you want to kind of you want to kind of smooth it out. You know, if you have something or just another piece of foam or a credit card or something, you can smooth it out like that. And then if we put another piece on the opposite side, so we'll kind of smooth it out, get the air pockets out just like that. So now we actually have, it'll still, you know, it'll still crease, but it will be much stronger and it will be very less likely to tear. Like this is way stronger now. So like if I try and tear this, like I'm really trying to tear it, like no joke. It does not want to tear. You can see it's, it's crinkling, it's creasing, it's getting beat up, but it is not tearing. In fact, it has kind of a cool texture, really. So that is why tape is so awesome. Obviously, you don't want to go overboard with the tape. I know I have gone overboard in some of my builds that you've seen on this channel, but pretty much every single airplane that I build is going to use packing tape because it just makes it so incredibly strong. Now, packing tape is great for resisting tearing, as you see in this one, and also, you know, allows, it, it can still make, let things bend, like hinges, you can make hinges out of packing tape, but it won't actually let them snap or tear, which is great. Now, to demonstrate that even further, this is a piece of XPS foam. It's like insulation foam, like you get from a Home Depot or a hardware store. And this stuff is really great. It's lightweight, it can be used for all kinds of things. Um, this, this stuff is like an inch thick, so quite thick. Maybe good for a fuselage, which actually that plane right there, that one over there, 
is I use this foam to build that plane. But here's the downside to this foam. It's very lightweight, but it's pretty brittle. Whoa, sorry, I don't know if I, that uh, hurt your ears, but that hurt my ears. That was really, really loud. So you can see it would bend for a little bit, and then when it snaps, it's gone, it's done. Now, some of this foam does have a plastic, uh, plastic sheeting on one side. Uh, I've noticed, I think like the half inch or maybe it's quarter inch. Those ones are, it, some of them have that. So it's, that's nice, but it's only on one side, I think. In any case, this one does not have any kind of plastic film on it. So that's why it snapped like it did. So let's go ahead and take some, uh, let's get some, uh, some of our magical packing tape and let's just run a strip. In fact, let's actually, the way to make it really strong is to like have them overlap, you know? So let's run it along here, like something like that. There we go. And then we'll wrap this part over the top. That'll make it even stronger. And it's a little, it's a little beat up already. This piece is a little beat up because we just kind of tried to snap it in half. And let's go ahead. We'll just sort of do it like that. And we'll just press it on there. Just kind of smoosh it down or sort of, there we go, like we're putting on a sticker. Okay, so now let's let's try that same thing. Let's see what happens. I mean, it might snap, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Mm, wow. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. This is way stronger. So you see this? We're just getting this curve. So instead of, you know, maybe you have a mid-air collision uh, or maybe you smash into a tree or whatever, your aircraft, not you. Uh, so instead of this thing just going whoppa and snapping, you're gonna, it's gonna go mm, and it's gonna bend. And those are the sounds that it makes. Yeah, I, I, it does really. And it's going to bend and you can see this this tape is going to get very tight and this tape right here is getting it's getting compressed um and it basically it's just folding in on itself this is where it would have snapped it would have cracked on these parts on these uh these parts where it's starting to crack that's where it would have snapped let's keep going and just see how far we can go wow wow look at that <laughs> look at that that is, see, you see what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. I actually thought it was going to snap. A really cool thing about this is that, uh, just kind of a little anecdote, I guess. What's neat about this is this creates kind of like a, a sandwich structure, like a composite sandwich structure, uh, which is pretty common in uh, aircraft, uh, full-scale aircraft, uh, except with full-scale aircraft, usually it would be uh, like it, well, it could be foam because that, that is what, how a lot of composite airplanes are built. But um, a lot of times you might have panels in the aircraft that are very hard panels, like maybe like for flooring or something, if it's a larger aircraft. And what it will be composed of is a layer of carbon fiber or other type of composite and uh, honeycomb st uh, structures of aluminum. So like aluminum that's like standing on end in the shape of a honeycomb. I'll put in some photos here, I think. And then, uh, and then another layer of composite material possibly carbon fiber. And so what that creates is an extremely uh, strong, rigid structure. That's kind of like what we're getting here because either side on the top, it doesn't want to stretch and it doesn't want to stretch on the bottom. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's definitely just one of the things I wanted to show you, um, but we're not done. Let's continue and just for, just let's just see like if I, like if I just like, oh my gosh. That, yeah, that's, you see? So that's what would happen without the tape very incredible stuff. We have another piece. Let's take a look at this piece of foam. So this is very, very lightweight. I don't know what kind of foam this is exactly, but it's a much more uh, floaty kind of foam. You can see it's it's almost like composed of little dots of foam, if that's if that makes any sense. It's the kind that like when it falls apart, it's, it's a big mess, but it's very lightweight. Maybe you'd want to use it for something on an airplane and it's, and it can take, uh, it can, it can compress quite a bit and spring back. So that could be good for like a nose uh, bumper or something. Uh, but let's see how it breaks. So we're gonna break it like this. Oof, look at that, so it broke right there. Same kind of thing, it bent for a little bit and then 
when it was time to go, it was time to go. So now let's put, let's just put a strip of our magical packing tape. By the way, this is just regular packing tape. This is not any fancy packing tape. You can actually get uh, packing tape that has like fibers in it. It's called extreme packing tape. And that stuff is like really crazy, super durable. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's probably worth it if you want the most durability. And so for airplanes, I, what I'll usually do is run at least a strip along the wing to act like a spar. Okay, so now we have the tape on both sides, just in the middle, and let's see if we get the same kind of snap. Ooh, so you can see that's where it would have snapped, right there, but it didn't snap. So like, see, so we can actually bend it this much, when normally we would not be able to do that, and it will come back to its shape. So having packing tape on there can make the difference between something just snapping off completely and being like broken for good uh, until you can glue it back on. But honestly, this type of foam is not easy to glue back on. Uh, and so it can make the difference between that happening or just it just bends a little bit and then you kind of maybe straighten it out and then you just go on your way and fly. So just another fun example, let's, let's do, let's put these pieces of foam here and let's take a look at this guy and let's see, see how much it's flexing. It's flexing like a lot. Let's see how much weight this will support when we put some packing tape across here. There we go. We'll just kind of smooth it out. We want to smooth it out to get it to stick really nicely because that will make it strongest. There we go, something like that. And this packing tape, just in case you're wondering, is just like normal, it's it's Scotch brand heavy duty. So it is, it's not like the as cheap as the stuff you get from like the dollar store, uh, but, but it's not that extreme packing tape stuff. Even the lighter weight packing tape will still work very well. So now, Let's take a look at this, and even just to show you, how look how much, it's kind of hard to tell, but before I, I'm, you know, I was pressing with just about the same amount of force right now, and uh, this is not flexing nearly as much, so much, much stiffer, much stronger. Let's add some weights on here and see how much it'll support. Let's start out with two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds. So this can kind of give you an idea for like wing loading, if we imagine this was a wing. Okay, let's double it. Let's try uh, five pounds total. <laughs> so five pounds. So if you imagine, like five, I don't know if you've held a five pound airplane, but it's heavy. Like most airplanes, most RC airplanes that are, you know, kind of smaller size, like uh, three foot wingspan or less, are not gonna weigh five pounds. So that was five pounds. So let's try, all right, let's try eight pounds. Let's try an eight pounder on here. Will it support eight pounds? Oh. Sort of, it's, it's slowly slipping off of the supports. But it, I mean, I think it would kind of support it otherwise. <laughs> it's just, it's just slowly going down. And that's it. And it, it'll bend to this angle, but it's still not breaking just for fun let's just let's do 16 pounds can i pick this up without is it there, there you go so 16 pounds it is just kind of you know smushing at that point wow all right i couldn't stop the video without doing a comparison without the tape so here now we have this same piece. I just cut another piece, the same same size, uh, but this time without the tape. So we will not have any tape on there. I think I had it at just about like this. I think it was about the same. I know this is not very scientific, but it sure is fun. The two and a half pound weight right in the middle, like that. 
Okay. Uh, it's not too bad. It's still holding it pretty pretty well. Let's try five pounds. It's actually holding it pretty well. Okay. All right. So now let's go to the eight pounder. Eight pounds on here. <laughs> I don't know if you pick that up like through the mic, but it's really, really loud. Like it is very loud and startling. <laughs> wow. So I think we, the big thing that we can see with the tape is that, um, it will allow things to bend. It, it will increase the rigidity for sure. And, but eventually it will allow things to bend, but really not snap, at least not in most cases. I mean, again, with this piece right here, let's see if we can, I mean, we just, we can't, we really can't, like we're bending this all the way over and we just have a nice curve there, which is actually, actually, uh, yeah, it's actually quite nice, smooth curve, which could, maybe that could be a technique to use uh, on your aircraft. So, wow, 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 wow. Also, we, it, it turns it into a spring as well, which is interesting. Very interesting. So, <laughs> okay. Well, I think that was pretty fun. I hope you had fun. Uh, the, basically, the point here is just use packing tape to really increase the strength on your RC aircraft. And I think you'll be doing a lot more flying instead of rebuilding. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your support. And I will see you again very soon. Oh, and leave me a comment about what your favorite technique is to improve the strength of your RC aircraft. I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, welcome. <laughs>